We're going to demonstrate uh, a correct setback and an incorrect setback and what it might look like on your gate and how to fix it and what it should look like after it's fixed. Uh, first we intentionally made a bad setback. If you notice on the setback we are about seven and a half by about two inches, maybe even less, which there's no setback in the manual for that. Here's one of the templates from the side of the box. You can see we're pretty far off from being correct on the setback. Uh, even though the gate and the setback will go all the way open and closed, because the pin is so close to the hinge of the gate we're going to lose a lot of leverage and you'll see the gate unintentionally obstruct. Okay we're going to activate the gate with the bad setback. See it just obstructed three times and now it's in hard shutdown. Okay we still have the incorrect setback set up. Uh, we're going to demonstrate what it looks like when it obstructs. If your gate is doing this, you might have the wrong setback. There we go. It tried to move both ways, and because the setback is so far off, it has no leverage on this large gate, and it went into hard shutdown. Here we've adjusted the setback to uh, one of the specified ones from the manual, and we took one of the templates from the box, and you see it works out just right. Now we're going to run the gate and show that the same size gate uh, won't obstruct when you have the setback correct because it has the right leverage on the gate. Okay, we're going to go ahead and activate the gate. And we're going to go ahead and close it. So again, the setback has a lot to do with if your gate is going to open smoothly and not obstruct unintentionally. Because it's what gives the leverage on the gate operator.